I love inspiration boards, and I figured what's better than an inspiration board than one that pulls double duty. So today I am going to make an inspiration board that also serves as uh, sort of like, I guess, a display for jewelry or organizes jewelry, whatever you want to call it. Um, I went to the dollar store, and let's face it, if you're starting a craft project, you should start at the dollar store. Makes it more fun because it's less expensive, I guess. Uh, and I purchased this guy. It is a cork board. You can buy a piece of cork board from a lot of places, home improvement stores, the container store. There's a bunch of places you can find cork board. Uh, and then I got some tack, also from the dollar store. So it's about $2 so far. This would be enough for the project. However, I don't know, I think it's kind of boring. Even though, you know, the frame is pink and that is cute. Still a little too boring, so we're gonna jazz it up with some other items. So these are the additional items I've grabbed for this project. A pair of gloves, because I'm gonna be using my metallic finish paint and it gets messy. Uh, rhinestones and a hot glue gun to glue the rhinestones down onto the frame. You can use anything. This is just the thing, these are just some of the things that I had around the house, so I figured, hey, why not? Let's throw them on there and see what happens. I followed the directions on the can of spray paint, which included shaking it up for a bit, and then I sprayed on an even coat. After some time had passed, I sprayed on a second coat, and then the cork board got some alone quality time, as I left it in the garage to dry all by its lonesome self. Back inside, it was time to decide what to do with all those rhinestones. In a semi-random pattern, I took the rhinestones and I hot glued them down onto the frame of the cork board. So take your inspirational images, whatever they may be, a magazine cutout, um, maybe a stub from a movie or a concert you went to or a picture, whatever it is, and the jewelry, and just tack it around and make it look pretty. There's kind of a science to this, but it's really whatever looks good to you. And then find a place where you're actually going to see this. I decided to put mine where I do my makeup every morning so I can actually see it and it can inspire me every day. And that's really all there is to this. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching.